Arlington police are investigating three deaths in two separate homicide cases over the weekend. They were both near AT&T Stadium. One of them was Sunday morning. A man found dead inside an apartment. A neighbor discovered the victim after noticing a broken window. Police say there are signs of forced entry, but they're still trying to identify a suspect and a motive. Hours before that, police investigated another violent crime nearby. Fox 4's Dion Anglin with the latest on that investigation. Dion. Hi there, Steve. Well, Arlington investigators are searching for clues, looking for all types of evidence they can possibly find, surveillance video, hopefully. But thus far, they say there is little to go on. Two teenagers found shot inside an Airbnb just west of AT&T Stadium. An 18-year-old young woman died shortly after being rushed to a hospital. She's identified as Alexis Janiah Tyler of Mesquite. The second victim, a 19-year-old male, was pronounced dead at the scene. He is not yet officially identified. I can tell you that we recovered multiple shell casings from the scene. Both victims were shot multiple times, so this wasn't just uh, you know, one person firing one shot and running out of there. This was somebody that, that absolutely intended to kill and, and harm people. Police say a neighbor heard gunshots, then saw several people running and getting into a white sedan. The vague vehicle description is a challenge for investigators who are combing the area for possible surveillance video. Police say the 19-year-old victim was celebrating his birthday. All we know is that the 19-year-old the, the had rented the apartment for his birthday week. And like I mentioned, he was about to turn 20 on Sunday, so a few hours before he was, was killed. And we're hoping that some of the family members of these victims can fill us in a little bit more about, you know, what all was going on there, who they might have been with while they were here in Arlington. Investigators are not speculating as to a motive. However, they say the shooting does not appear to involve robbery. I know one thing that we, we did look at or, or have looked into was whether or not you know any valuables were missing from either of the victims and best we can tell nothing was taken which leads us to believe that again that this might be somebody that they knew or had some knowledge of this doesn't appear to be random now, a number of challenges for investigators, including that vague vehicle a description, even a rough number of how many were seen getting into the white sedan. But police now looking for help from the public. If you have information to help investigators in this case, you're urged to contact Arlington Police right away.